All right, now, so we want to display some information from our database right here, right on this homepage on index.php. This is our homepage right now. That's where I am, localhost forward slash CMS forward slash index.php. So we have a table called posts with some rows in there. But in order for us to display some information here, we need to insert some uh, data into that table. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's select the table. Let's insert and let's just insert. Let's not insert anything for the post ID since that increments automatically. Post category, we're not going to do that either. Let's just say that we want the post title to be, I don't know, um, Edwin CMS course. You can write whatever you want. I'm just saying it's awesome. Or actually, Edwin CMS PHP course. And let's just put this like this here. PHP course is awesome. Author Edwin Diaz. It's my name, by the way. Let's put a date on it. And let's just say February 25th. And we don't have a post image for that. As a matter of fact, we don't. We're going to have to uh, do some setting with the image right now. We're going to put some co uh, some content here. And we're going to say something like, wow, I really, really like this course. And let's make the author somebody else because I shouldn't be liking my course, right? I, I actually kind of like my material. But John Doe is the name weird right some post tags and we're gonna call this uh, Edwin we're just gonna put some post Edwin or um, JavaScript PHP some keywords there common count we don't have that and it's on giraffe right now so let's just one row inserted one incorrect internet internet value so we made a mistake somewhere on category ID we did not put an ID for that all right let's go back to it all right so it did insert some value there but is incorrect let's just make an ID for just to make PHP my admin a little happier with us all right so perfect we have some data here that we can display all right so let's go ahead and do that all right so let's go and start changing some things around. Let's go to the index. And if we go see this, this is going to be, this is the page heading right here, right here. The title right here. So we're going to be putting some of that title, the title that we got from the database here. And we're going to be replacing some of this data uh, HTML with CSS. I mean, not CSS. PHP. So where do we want to actually make our query? All right. So I want to make our query very close to this here. I don't need to, but I will. So let's first go ahead and create a query. And this is going to call, let's actually write a PHP tags. PHP. I think sometimes I think the tags should be right, should write themselves automatically just by me looking at them, right? Select all from where? From post. All right, that's all we got to do there. And then we can just copy. We don't have to write all this. We can just copy from what we had on navigation, right? Let's just copy this while statement right here. I'm just going to copy all this, rename it. Really cool, right? I don't have to do all that but what I will do I will change the names of some of these things so I went to navigation I just copy everything below the select all because I'm gonna be using something very similar so get, get in the habit of copy and pasting things so that way you don't that way you, you don't have to write so much select all posts query all right that's what I'm gonna call this and we are, oops, sorry about that, my volume. 
so we're gonna change this here like that perfect and this is called post title instead of cat title post title this is this is coming from the database right here remember that post title so this is the role from the database make sure that you know that and then we are assigning a, a variable and here of course we got to display post title now we are not going to be displaying this in a li tag since this is going to be displaying in here right so let's just take this out all right that looks really bad by itself there so now remember this is a loop here in a way actually right there make this whole thing right here so this is a loop is gonna loop through all the everything we got in our data from the post table and it's gonna bring this back here but we want to make sure that we bring everything back we have a lot of things in our table that we need to bring back right we have post ID category ID post title let's bring what we need right now let's bring the title let's bring the author so let's make a, a more copy and paste stuff here since we're gonna be needing some of this and I don't know how many of these we need and we're gonna find out right now in a minute so let's bring the title let's bring the author back author let's just copy this here you don't have to name it the same if you don't want to but I like to do it just to keep simplicity what's next after the uh, the date uh, by the the date the image and the content so date date image and we gotta do something with that image just to uh, we gotta do another function for the image but I'll, I'll show you in a minute and what's the other one content I think that's it I think that's all we need for this right now right post date post content yeah that's all we need for now so I'm just gonna take the rest of this so we got the title the author the date the image and the content title author the date image and the content perfect so we got that those assigned to variables all right and we need to let me make this bigger here so you can see it all right we need to display many different posts and the way this is gonna do it is by going through the loop because we need this data repeated over and over again imagine we have more posts this data needs to repeat itself if I do everything outside right now I can go ahead and assign this variable here and here and here and here and we display in one time we need to go actually around this data here this HTML to reproduce this over and over again so I'm gonna break out out of this all right so I'm gonna do this something like this and break out of PHP I'm gonna break out completely out of there and I'm gonna take out this and put it in there inside that loop all right right here then and I come back here let's just do that and I'm going to start PHP again because I want to bring down bring in this little thing right here this little curly bracket from PHP All right I need to close my loop with this that's what I'm doing right here so I'm turning off PHP and I'm closing the loop and I'm turning it back on here again to get this curly bracket so here we're gonna be displaying some dynamic text this is the page heading we're not gonna uh, concern ourselves with that right now but let's go ahead and do some PHP right here for the title of our post 
and as you can see PHP you see that I thought that this editor was gonna do that automatically but it doesn't complete the stuff for me automatically echo and then we're gonna echo what the post title post title there we go and let's just use the same so let's just take this out of here because we want to display something else in here we want to display the post author and post it we're going to display the date here take that out and just put that date on it and this is the content right here so take that out and we say post content All right, so I think we're done with this. What do you think? Think we're good? All right, so let's go ahead. Think, I think we're good. Let me see. Let me just make sure here that our data is being sent. Select all posts and that. We might have a mistake or two, but you know, the fun thing about it is fixing it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how it works out. Actually, we don't have a mistake. Good. If you do have a mistake, don't worry about it, just do it again. So this data is being pulled from the database. As you can see, the title is here. Edwin CMS PHP course is awesome by John Doe. We have the date right here. We have the content and we don't have the image right now because we have to do an extra step for the image. But I'll show you that in the following lectures. All right. So now we have some data. All right. Displaying dynamically there. And let's insert another post and see what happens. All right. So let's go ahead, insert some more data into, let's create another post and let's set this to category two. Let's say this, this is a JavaScript course, course post. I'm just writing random stuff and let's just say that the author is Belinda and the date is maybe tomorrow or the day before. Let's do the day before, that's fine. Post image, we don't have one. Content. Wow. Uh, man, this is a really cool post. Post. Can you call me? Belinda, be careful please, be careful. Alright, so, alright, post tags. This is JavaScript course actually JavaScript 2 or something like that and we're gonna use this later on to just to show you that the, the functionality of the search engine uh, and this is course class Belinda all right post comment count we're not gonna worry ourselves with that I think we're good to go and here so PHP doesn't mess around with us right PHP my admin go let's go ahead and, and check this out refresh and if we go down, we see the other post right here. JavaScript course post by Belinda, the date, and JavaScript course post right here, content. Actually, we wrote the same thing on the content side, did we? Let's go back to it and let's check it out. No, actually, we wrote that. We just have, let me see. Wow, post content, man, this is really cool. Right, Edwin CMS course is awesome. All right, let's just check it out real quick. Belinda and Edwin's course is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and so post content right here. We have the title, we have the author. We have some content right here, post content. So that should be displaying post content unless I went in the database and made a boo boo somewhere here. Post, author, post title, course, post. We didn't write anything for content, did we? Actually, we did right here. Post content. Post ID 2, category ID. Did that automatically. We have some dates, and here we refresh. 
JavaScript post. It looks like this is actually, let's do a right hand, uh, right click, inspect element on it, and let's just check it out. It's inserting the title in there. All right, and I think I know the reason why it's doing that. Let's just go back to our, here we have the content and we have the title here instead of content. There we go. All right. A little friendly mistake there. So just know that we found it really fast. Refresh. And now we should have that content display. And that's That happens sometimes when you're doing copy and pasting a lot. So just get used to it. Some, sometimes when this doesn't actually display the way you want it, make sure you check what's coming in from the database and how you are applying those uh, values. So we see this. Wow, I really like this course. We see the content is actually displaying really nice now. Wow, man, this is really cool. This is a really cool post. Can you call me? All right. So we can make as many as we want and then we keep going down, down, down. All right. So thank you so much for watching this lecture and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.